thoughts from Ball State? You guys took three or four, and how you feel coming out of that series? Um, good. They had a very good team, you know, and they're going to win their league most likely. And you know, I just fielded three calls from scouting directors just today alone about a couple of their players, which are you know a couple of their pitchers that are really good, as we all saw. So, um, very good team. Coach Maloney's done a nice job. I was really. Uh, you always want four wins, um, but still yet, I thought we played extremely uh, hard. I thought we played well, and, um, you know, I like where we stand right now. I saw the news about Adam Meyer. Obviously tough to lose him for the whole season, but I guess not maybe the worst-case scenario since he doesn't have to get Tommy John. No, it was, it was good news, you know. Um, and so we, we kind of knew that Adam probably wasn't going to be pitching for us this year. Um, and to get the news that we did was good news. And so we were excited about the, you know, I mean, he'll be back with us for next season, which is a big, that's a big positive. Any updates on, uh, will Drew give it a go this weekend? Um, yeah, Drew is available and he'll be traveling with the team. So will, will he be in a DH capacity? Are you going to look to put him in the field as well? Or um, is that, is the field a limitation because he's on his way back or? No, he was available to play in the field last week, and it's more a matter of you know strength in his uh, in, you know in his hand from the rehab standpoint, you know, and does it um, is he back to full capacity yet? As soon as he will be, yeah, you we definitely want uh, the guy that before he went out of the lineup. He was our best hitter, and so he, we would definitely don't want to rush him back, but we're anticipating his return for sure. What's the schedule for rehab look like, Meyer, and just you know his. You mentioned that he's coming back next season. That is, a, is that, that official? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't. I mean, I, I'm not a, one of the 30 major league clubs that are probably going to still right. try to, you know, chuck a bunch of money his way and try to get him to come uh, out a year early uh, right now. Uh, but I would still anticipate. It seems as though there's a strong chance that he would be back in our uniform next year. Let's put it that way, and you know, he'll be healthy and everything, and we'll just take us. Uh, his rehab slowly instead of pushing him through it. He could have easily pushed uh, himself and put him at a pretty significant risk for an injury right now, and we're not a fan of that, and neither is he. And so, you know, we're going to do what's best for him. In terms of this weekend, yeah, it's a, it's a shorter week because of the holiday and everything, so just shorter preparation. But what do you see from Washington in particular? Well, I mean, on tape, they've got, you know, we, we're going to need to neutralize the, the power. They've got one guy that's got a real power bat that had a really good day yesterday. As a matter of fact, at the plate, I think he was three for four with four RBIs yesterday and home run. Uh, Will Simpson, you know, he's got eight home runs on the year. He's a power threat for him in their order. Um, they've got some arms that are really good arms, um, which, um, you know, the Case Matter kid was an 87, 88 guy last year. He's going to throw on game three for him. He's up to 95 this year with a very good breaking ball. Um, you know, their closers having Wraith uh, is having a very good year. He's almost striking two guys out an inning. And ironically, he's tied for the second most number of innings. I think 37 and two thirds innings is tied for second um, with him and a starter. And he's got no starts. He's their closer. So they're going to plan on probably pitching him, I would guess, five to seven innings on the weekend out of the out of a relief roll. Um, and he's been really good, you know, fastball command with a very, very good slider. Um, They've got probably three left-handed pitchers out of their bullpen um, that uh, have kept some guys uh, off balance and stuff like that. Probably more of a uh, power arm type of a mentality uh, from what we'll see, I think, with their pitching staff. They look like they have some very good arms that can throw hard, um, and it's probably going to require us to be short to the fastball this weekend. Coach, we saw Gavin Grant, his fifth home run of the season. I think that's three more than his entire career going into the season. What have you seen from him and how have his offseason you know, workouts and things like that helped him with the power of translating this year? Yeah, I think Daryl Hunter deserves a lot of credit for that. You know, he's really turned himself into a very strong physical kid. He's a very wiry, athletic looking guy, um, but his strength has increased significantly. Um, he's also a guy that, you know, middle of the year last season um, took to the analytics crew to figure out what deficiencies were in his swing and really worked him and Kasovich really worked to improve their analytics deficiencies on their swing and they've been able to do so you know and so even this weekend when he went I think it was an opposite field home run uh, and a two strike count um, you know that, that ball was crushed and it was into the wind and it still got out of here um, for for me Gavin is you pull for kids like him and Josh and Tyler Gannis is of the world. There's so many of them, but I mean, those guys are, they've really created a culture here of guys that uh, really want to work hard and um, appreciate the opportunities they've uh, earned to have here. 
And I just love being around them because those guys are, are uh, turning themselves into just very, very good baseball players, and the scouts are noticing. How about the last two series that Anthony Hall has had? Uh, started the year kind of slow, but has really come on the last two especially. You know, big, strong kid. Happy for Anthony. You know, he was in his own way. That was probably a hard thing for him to do first weekend is go home to San Diego and play in front of his, um, his family and all his friends and everything like that. And I'm sure he probably feels like he didn't handle it as good as he could have. Um, and he's been hot for us lately. Hopefully he can have another very good weekend this weekend. You know, Washington's a good club, um, and they've got power arms, and so he'll be challenged. He'll be tested. There's a couple of guys that I'm sure they'll bring in out of the bullpen uh, left-handed uh, against him, and Anthony's handled left-handed pitching very well, and so I know he'll look for that challenge. Grant, you've kept him in the nine hole all year long. You've kept the catching position in like the seven or eight hole. What does it mean to the players to have that ability, the stability to come in every day and basically know exactly where they're going to hit in the lineup every game? Well, I, that's a good question. You probably have to ask the players that. I, I think it's an earned thing. You know, I mean, if you're not hitting and guys are not performing very well, that's usually when you see a lineup getting turned over quite a bit and a lot of guys, you know, moving around in the lineup. Um, and we haven't done that. We've chosen to be uh, very patient with our hitters. So depending on, it always seems like there's a hitter or two that have had really good weekends. So instead of getting emotional and firing that guy up from the seven hole to the two hole or leadoff spot or three hole, we've just stayed consistent and just said, you know, some weekends you're going to have better weekends than others. And, um, you know, showing up every day and getting used to the guy that hits in front or behind you. Uh, if we can do that, and we have been able to this year because the, the guys have earned it, you know, and they've, they've really hit well. And so as they continue to hit well, we'll stay as consistent as we possibly can. I don't really want to rock the boat with these guys uh, so much. I mean, they, if you look at it, you know, losing your best hitter at the beginning of the season, uh, losing uh, your best pitcher after three starts, having your number three guy, you haven't seen him all year until this last weekend. He, he finally got uh, into the mix and threw an inning, uh, but he was hurt with a finger injury over the break, uh, over the Christmas break, and that was Stoffel. And then Moziello, we finally got back. So for us to be able to, you know, kind of hang in there uh, like we have and still continue to play very well and position ourselves where we are, I'm, I'm happy with, with what the team's done. I, it's exciting to go back to the field with them every day because these kids want to play and they want to work. What is the plan then for the third starter? Well, you mentioned Moziello and Stoffel. So is it Stoffel and Moziello staying in the pen? Is that kind of the plan, or Ellis for that matter, on the game three? Or? No, I mean, we'd like to, Jace was supposed to be our third starter going in the season, so we'd like to bring him along as best we can um, into the third starting spot. That's what we'll do this weekend. And so it being a Saturday game three this week, he'll start on Saturday. So it'll be Gordon Aon and, and Stoffel. And we look to try to, kind of like the lineup uh, question, good question, I, I'd like to, get that pitching rotation continued to get that settled into where those guys know they're starters and they can continue to develop. We've seen a lot of progress there and, and that's good. You know, the more progress we can see here down the home stretch, that's going to be important to try to win a league championship. Try to build them up like an inning a week. So to go from one to two to three to, you know, successively sort of thing. Oh, I don't know about that. You know, some of it has to do with stress, uh, level of stress and in innings and stuff like that. I mean, last week the goal was just get them on the dirt. You know, this week we can build them up a little bit more for sure um, to say it's just going to be an extra inning or two. I mean, it could. There, he's built up to where he can go significant innings uh, from a from an arm standpoint. Um, but Coach Angier, I'll let him make that decision.